You're watching Telecom TV from the MEF annual members meeting in Boston. And I'm joined now by Alan Langfield, who is Executive Director, Carrier and Enterprise Product Development at Comcast. Alan, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. How will the new networking technologies, NFE, SDN and, and LSO, how will they impact the services landscape over the coming years? I think the services that we're used to seeing are typically relatively static uh, and not necessarily interconnected with other services. So I think as we look at moving toward a platform that is largely software-based and not based on purpose-built hardware in the network, uh, we're going to start to see services become more relevantly interconnected and related to each other, more efficiently implemented on reusable components of storage, uh, compute, and network connectivity in ways that current network technologies and architectures just simply haven't allowed. So I think that's going to bring not just operational efficiency and more dynamic services and dynamic for relevant reasons for our customers, but it'll also speed time to market for new services and allow us to prototype services in ways that were either too time consuming or weren't cost effective to do previously. And what would you say are the opportunities and challenges associated with the MEF's drive towards more agile third network type services? I think there are three pieces. You know, the first is the ops model, again, going from purpose-built hardware being managed by an operations team. Now we're managing software components. Again, if we can build very efficient and effective surveillance capabilities, a lot of automation for configuration, and really present to the operations team in an automated fashion, actionable activities based on failures or network performance or specific customer habits changing over time, uh, we, can, we, can solve that, we can solve that problem. You know, one of the other areas, which is a challenge in today's operating model, is carrier-to-carrier -carrier integration and automation. So whether you're talking quoting, ordering, testing, trouble ticketing, billing, uh, there aren't a lot of standards out in that space that, that really apply to this next wave of services. So, you know, the MEF focusing on, on that space will bring benefits for today's operating model, but it's really a linchpin um, as we move forward into the third network. And the third area is we think about IP and managed services, um, service specifications. Um, the MEF has done an amazing job with Ethernet, clearly, in establishing vocabulary that's used throughout the industry, both carriers and customers and technology partners. That alignment, clearly, there's, there's, there's value. Um, is we, even though Ethernet uh, or even though IP services and managed services have been around for a very long time, we're starting to see some really new applications emerge. And the, the MEF recognizes that and is moving very, very swiftly to ensure that the same sort of service structures are in place for those services as they've been very good at putting in place for Ethernet. Now, when the industry gathers for its annual event in November in Baltimore at MEF16, what do you think will be the main topics of discussion? What's going to be top of the agenda? You know, I think SDN and NFV um, are, are really starting to mature in really interesting and compelling ways. So it's matured more quickly um, and early on for over-the-top applications. So serving providers who weren't necessarily facilities-based or, uh, or carriers who had a legacy or non-homogenous core. And this, this really allowed them to abstract their services away from the core of the network in ways that were really effective and helpful for them. But I think we're starting to see the second wave where it's more than just over-the-top capabilities. Um, much more complex use cases. So really eager and excited to hear both on the provider side, but also the roadmaps of our technology partners to hear where they see things going over, over the next 12 months. Alan, many thanks indeed. Appreciate it.